Hey, it's Eric Homer. So, my name is Kid Guru. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on a live CD. More complex tutorial, but pretty easy if you just follow my steps. Linux is, uh, you know, the company, of course. The Linux has multiple distros of, uh, you know, there's Ubuntu, which is pretty much the main Linux distro out there. Now, there's Sabion, Barrel, all those type of distributions. And the best part, it's an operating system, you know, built with different shells and all that type of stuff like that. But it's free. All free. And I'm going to teach you how to download it here on, uh, this is XP. I'm back on my XP machine just showing some XP tutorials. So you can do this on Vista as well. So I'm just going to teach you how to do it. It's really quick, really easy. Just follow my steps. First off, go to www.ubuntu.com. And you're going to have to go to uh, here and go to Get Ubuntu. Go to Download Ubuntu. Now you can buy a live CD, but you don't really need to unless you really desperately need one. Some people do buy some CDs just to, you know, the fact they want to, you know, you can donate, pretty much kind of like donating to Ubuntu. You can request a free CD when you basically they ship Ubuntu to you. It takes like about 10 weeks up to there, but you know, it can take shorter and you get a free live CD. But most of, easy, it's the most way to get it is by downloading it. First off, you just want to pick your server, di server edition or desktop. Most likely it's a desktop. Pick Ubuntu 7.10. And what type of computer do you have? Pick whatever you have. And pick the closest location on this list to you and if you don't find one click here and look at the complete locations because it's going to be really important because you can download it off there and much much faster and then you know make sure you read the uh, stuff and then just hit start installation oh wait I did pick up uh, that's not even my thing but I'm just going to show you what it says after this and then now I'm just going to get stuff like this I'm going to hit cancel because I already have my ISO but now see it depends on what type of a uh, connection you have if you have a uh, fast DSL uh, is it DSL connection I believe it only takes like 15 minutes at tops mine took really really quick around 13 15 minutes if not it's gonna take a while so just leave it downloading and uh, you can like I said request or buy a CD if you want next you're gonna need a CD CD uh, uh, you know old uh, CD I believe it's CDR anything like that or I believe you can, I don't I'm not sure if you can put it on a DVD or, but you just need a free blank CD. Now, uh, save. I have saved my Ubuntu ISO to my desktop, and I already have the Ubuntu Live CD up. But what I'm going to tell you how to do it. Well, there's a couple programs. First off, you can always get the CD, pop it in, and some people like uh, you know it depends on how it works. You know, with whatever how your ISO will turn out to work. Now, some people claim that they just uh, you know, go to the CD wherever it is. You know, for this instance, I don't have the CD in, but they open up my computer go to their CD drive, put the CD in, and say burn files to CD, and they put the Ubuntu ISO in there. Now, that may work depending on your, you know, uh, whatever, depending on your uh, settings and stuff like that. And uh, But for some people, it claims not to work, doesn't work sometimes. So you can use programs, there's Nero, if you use Nero, or a pretty free one, a freeware one, you can just type in this in, in Google and download it, Infra, I-N-F-R-A, Recorder, and just open it up, and then select your CD drive base, stuff like that, and then you're going to want to go to File, I mean, where is it, uh, Actions, Burn Image, find your image, and then, you know, of course, hit Open, and then pretty much be directed from there. Just make sure you selected your disk, and go through all the settings, make sure you, you find your drive, it's really easy, and then just patch the drive, it may take like five minutes, not too long, patches the ISO onto the CD, pop the CD out after, and you can or you know most likely you'll get this Ubuntu flash screen so you just look through that check it out and then after that just uh, I would recommend just po you know popping out the disk and then you know pop it into whatever you want to do boot it, whatever you want to boot it into now you're gonna basically you're, just, you're gonna shut off you're gonna restart your computer with the with the disk in the drive and uh, for the most cases if I believe if uh, it should ask you to dual boot or just right away either one right away boot into Ubuntu or two just ask you to dual boot I mean ask you to boot into XP or it'll give you the option to boot into Ubuntu if not at your flash screen I believe if you click is it F either I believe it's F1 F8 or one of the F keys you have to read depending on yours uh, you know your computer manufacturer to go to your setup or whatever you know if you keep to continuously click it it'll go into your drive for the most part though the live CD should just automatically boot off uh, the CD because it'll notice the ISO image uh, boot right off and if you get stuck on Ubuntu and you don't want it just shut down the computer pull the CD out and boot it up and it should boot up right and in normally into the normal operating system 
So for the most part, it's really easy, guys. You can either, you know, there's multiple ways you can get the ISO image on. You can mount it with ISO, was ISO mount or something like that. Different different programs, but I use Infrared Recorder. You can use. I also uh, did. Uh, I also tried out burning the image just from the CD right away off Windows, and that works too. So whatever you guys want to choose, it just may take a while depending on your connection. So guys, I hope this helped. I hope you guys tried Ubuntu. It's a really great operating system. And I'll get back to you on some other uh, Ubuntu tips, stuff like that. So guys, I hope you uh, you know got a chance to try out Ubuntu on this live CD. It works on Vista. I've, uh, I have it here on my uh, Vista laptop, pre-second uh, booted. So if you have any questions on how to download it or questions on Ubuntu, please feel free to email me. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.